and I, I s seem to keep making specifically with, say, what you were talking about, anger. With anger, the same decisions. Yes. Yep. Almost like it's more comfortable for me to make the same decision over and over or I'm in a state of being conditioned and I'm not sure what else is there. And no, it's can I just be... You need to be very careful here. The first statement was very correct. You okay. are more comfortable making the decision towards anger than you are to do something in a different direction. Don't go down the state of going, I am conditioned to do so. That is now taking the choice away from you and, to, to be frank, placing the blame on some, something external to you. Okay. Right? The reality is I have anger inside of me, if yes. that's the case, and I often, when I get into the same situation, I am angry in a very similar manner to the last time I was in that same situation. So, for instance, if a situation is the man uh, treats me just with a little bit of condescension, I'm in a rage. Right? So that's, uh, that's the situation. Yes, that's true. And then I go and cry and everything else about it, and then the next time the man treats me with condescension, I'm in a rage again. Yes, I make the same choice and the same result occurs. Of course. I go and away then the and next cry, time, but it doesn't, it doesn't help. That's right. And the reason why, there must be a reason why it's not helping. And we'll go through that in a minute. But can you see the next time I make the choice and treat, man treats me condescendingly, I get into a rage again. Now I've done this three times in a row now. So that should tell me that what I'm crying about isn't the truth. But I'm feeling emotional, I'm feeling I, I know you're feeling emotional, but that doesn't mean that every emotion in you is the truth. So you can have emotions that are linked with lies inside of you too. Many of us do. Every time you go into a demand of another person, you have an emotion in you that's linked with a lie. And you know what the lie is? Other people have to do what I want. That's the lie. That's the feeling that's inside of us. Every time I go into demand with another person, I'm actually feeling that feeling as a truth. I think that everybody should follow my demands. And that's why I get angry. Because they're not following my demands. What's wrong with them? They're not doing what I want. Don't they know that I'm God and I and not even like God? That I should get everything I want anytime I want it. Every every time I just have a feeling for it, somebody else should supply it to me. That's the feeling inside of me that I need to release. But we don't. You know what we finish up releasing? We start crying because we're not getting what we want. So is what you're saying? specifically relevant to me, to my emotional journey? Yes. So, and so and three quarters of the audience. Yes. Okay. So yep. you're, you're saying that I have this de emotion of demand inside of me. That you are not releasing. Okay. So when a man treats you condescendingly, you have a feeling inside of you, he shouldn't treat me condescendingly. And I put back to you, if you actually understood the law of free will, you would understand at an emotional level that he's allowed to treat you however he wishes. How then can I exercise my free will? You don't have to be with him. That's big. You can leave him. So that way he doesn't affect you, he affects somebody else. <laughs> do, do you understand? Can I do it any other way? <laughs> <laughs> can, you see, can you see we can understand with our mind what I just said, but put next in the situation where the man treats you condescendingly, I can guarantee to you that you'll go back into anger. And that's because there hasn't been a change happen in the soul. That once the change happens in the soul, when someone treats you condescendingly, you don't go, you don't get all upset about the condescension. You go, well... He's just treated me condescendingly there. Gee, I have some compassion for that man. He must have had a hard life with his mum and, and, you know, to treat women like that. Or he must have a father who was quite abusive towards women to treat women like that. Should I tell him or not? Yeah, I think I'll tell him that. So you go up to the man, no matter what his condescension is, and you tell him. You know, you must have had a pretty hard life with women or, or your father must have been pretty bad towards women. And he gets in a rage with you and says, what are you talking about? You know, and you feel the anger coming at you then. 
And you go, and if you were one with the way God feels, you'd go, automatically there would be no rage in you, no resentment in you, nothing like that. There would automatically be a feeling, wow, he's angry at me now. Wow, doesn't that show how resistive he is to dealing with that emotion and how much resistance he has towards that truth? And then if he kept doing it, you'd go, well, do I really want to be with this man? What, I don't, what I'll do is I'll say, look, and if it's a partner, you know, you'd say, look, I really love you. But you don't love me very much. You barely love yourself very much either because you're getting angry all the time and you treat women condescendingly all the time. So what I need to do, I feel, is I need to withdraw from you for a bit so that you can just feel that on your own because you're not feeling it when you're with me. But you know, for the majority of you ladies in the audience, you don't do that because you have all these feelings of insecurity that you don't want to feel. And you have all this rage and anger about men's condescension that you don't want to feel and a whole heap of grief about yourself you don't want to feel when somebody's condescending to you. So you don't do that. What you do instead is you get angry back because that's the way to handle it. That's the way you've always handled it in the past. That's the way mum might have handled it. And that's what you do. Or it's the femin feminism way to handle it. You've picked it up from the world and the way it handles things now. None of those things are, all of those things are demonstrating that we have yet to have the truth of free will enter our heart. None of those things indicate anything to do but with the lies that we still believe in our heart. So we can intellectually go, yes, I fully believe in this free will. I should have free will. And we can go on like that. But, but it's not in our heart yet. And so it cannot transform our life yet. It, it is only an intellectual concept that we have presented ourselves without, and we have still have resistance, obviously, to it entering our heart. Otherwise, there would be a permanent change that we don't have to try to understand. So is there not a split second choice where you can choose anger or you can choose something else? No, that's what the natural love past tells you. And the answer is no, because once divine love has transformed your soul, you will be unable to be angry. It won't be a choice. It's just impossibility. Thank you very much. You can see the reason why we're often faced with choices in our day-to-day -day lives, and we, we, we're told, I have to choose love rather choosing, than choosing fear or anger. And the reason why we have to make the choice is because the truth is yet to be in my heart. If the truth was in my heart, there would be no choice. It would be just automatically in love. Does that make sense? Automatically, without any choice being made. I still, I still don't know how to get there. I don't... Ah, but this is the thing. We have discussed what? the very simple way to get there, Jen. And what I'm saying to you is that we are obviously resistive to that simple way because we're not there yet. So let's go back to the simple way, shall we? But none of that's simple. It is simple. What's complicated about that? We're talking about the rest of your eternal life, and I've summarised the rest of your eternal life in terms of internal growth in one page of three or four simple sentences. But when you're in a place of um, such, well, anger... Yeah? That's not simple. Yes, it is. It's quite simple. You're not being humble. Black and white. Yes. Would, would God get angry in that situation? No. No. So if I'm not doing what God would do in that situation, I'm out of harmony with God, am I not? Yes. Yes? It's quite simple. Now, if I'm automatically choosing anger, that tells me that in my heart the transformation has yet to occur. So I've got to be honest about it. My heart hasn't accepted the law of free will. And I must believe that anger is better than this way. Of course you believe it. Otherwise you wouldn't continue doing it. 
Why would, would you ever oh, continue doing I, something I unless understand. you believed it was right? I understand. Of course you wouldn't. So for the majority of us still, we believe anger is the right way. Can you see that? You get a tricky situation, a hard situation, what do you do? Bend to anger. So you must believe it's the right way. Otherwise, in your heart, you wouldn't be able to even engage anger anymore. It wouldn't even come up in you anymore. And you have to squash it <laughs> in an interaction. Does that make sense? It wouldn't even come up anymore. Yep, if we go Mary and then Jen, down the front. 